Hi everyone. So today I finally received this new machine, Behringer S16 uh, Digital Snake, and we're gonna open it up for you right in front of you. So this is the official unboxing of this machine, which is a 16-in digital snake connecting to the X32 console. So here's the usual box in the box, and here is the machine itself. Uh, at least I'm happy to see that there is no damage in the box, unlike the X32 that arrived all damaged. S16, quite a nice piece of equipment. I can't wait to uh, install it and use it. So let's open it up. So uh, now we're gonna just open this uh, machine. And uh, the first thing we find is obviously the uh, user manual, which again is extremely thin and uh, doesn't look like it's very, very detailed. This is one of the very disappointing things that I find uh, up to now in the Behringer uh, system and the other disappointing thing is basically the way these units are packaged which is really not very uh, you know the packaging is is really thin and cannot with withstand all the shocks that could come from um, from traveling these units from the factory to the destination. Uh, here's the machine itself in the plastic with these thin foam. And that's all there is. The box is really, well, there's the power supply and that's all there is to the box. Okay, so next step is we're gonna just open it up and see what it is. Right, so let's uh, try to remove these uh, this plastic. As usual, we always try to remove all packaging in a way that will not damage or as least as possible, just in case we need to resand all these things. So here we are. You are now seeing the back of the machine and I will turn it up to show the front of the machine. It's upside down. Sorry guys. It's just because the little rubbers underneath are not on the machine. They give them to you, but they're not installed when they deliver. So here's the, the Snake Behringer S16. 16 XLR inputs, eight XLR outputs, and then you got these little uh, control buttons. You got a monitoring section here with the monitor button uh, volume and uh, jack ear uh, headphones. Then you got an um, HA control button, whatever it does, I don't know yet. Uh, you got a gain, uh, 48 volt and uh, configuration. So all these inputs are equipped with Midas preamps, which is a very good thing. So in reality, it's gonna add 16 preamps inputs to any console or wherever you plug it in. The other side of, uh, of the unit is uh, equipped with the AES50 uh, interface, which will help you connect this to, for example, your X32 mixer. You got the USB interface, which will uh, go directly to a computer if needed uh, to be to be controlled by your DAW. And uh, here there's an alternate um, connector, which is basically a Cat5 connector. This um, gives you the uh, the possibility to plug in a, a monitoring system. Behringer has a very nice monitoring system with uh, 16 outputs. These are ADAT outputs. They're only outputs and not inputs, meaning that you cannot 
connect an ADAT in this machine to provide eight additional ins? No, you cannot do that. All you can do is take it out to an ADAT, which I don't know who, I mean, what setup would need to do that, but anyway, uh, it's there. And then you got MIDI in, MIDI out. So that's just it for the machine. Uh, now let's just uh, go ahead and uh, test it first of all, and then connect it. Thanks.